Hey, what's up, everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another audio programming for beginners tutorial. And today what we're going to do is we are going to talk about the command line. So the command line is one of these tools that uh, a lot of developers, when they're first getting in, including myself, when I first started developing, I avoided this like the plague uh, because I found it just very difficult to navigate. Uh, but it is a very essential tool that uh, developers need to use, especially if you ever want to get a job in this industry. Uh, having at least some basic uh, some basic skills using the command line and being able to work your way around is very important and it's uh, it's an essential thing it's like kind of like having a hammer and being a carpenter uh, so it's very essential so uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you some super super basic uh, um, commands on the command line to help you find your way around. So these are things that uh, if, if you're a developer in the industry, um, you would probably know about these. So, um, so I would encourage you to get the, to, to, uh, to get familiar with these things. Uh, and I hope that this tutorial helps out. So before we get started, just want to remind you about the Patreon. So we have a Patreon set up. Uh, if you ever want to uh, donate to uh, the channel, if you're finding it useful and helpful for learning audio programming, um, we have various packages available where you can get like stickers, t-shirts, uh, hoodies, and even, uh, even time with me as well. So, uh, so come check us out on, uh, patreon.com slash the audio programmer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is obviously on, uh, on a Mac. Uh, if you're on windows, you can use PowerShell and PowerShell will give you a very similar type of behavior. So this is in a language that's called bash. Um, and there are so many other, there are so many other things that you can do with, uh, the command line, but I'm just going to give you the very basics today. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is, so I'm in my home folder and we could do this, uh, command called PWD. And what this will do is this will actually show you the working directory that you're in. And as you can see, I'm in this folder called user slash DJ at war. So, and then I will show you another command. So let's say you want to list everything that's in your directory. You can use a command called ls, and that will list everything that you have in the users slash DJ at word folder or whatever directory that you're in. You also have another really interesting one that, uh, that can be helpful sometimes. If you want to do ls dash a, so that's list, and then normally dash a means all, and this will actually list all of the files that are in your directory, including all of the hidden ones. So if I hit enter here, you'll see that I'm in the same directory, but you'll see that there are a few here and they have dots in front of them. And these dots just basically mean that these are hidden files that, uh, that you can't see. Okay. So, so that's how you, uh, look at all of the files that are in that current directory, including the hidden ones. Okay. makes me, uh, when I first started learning about this, made me start feeling like a little bit of a hacker, you know? So, uh, okay, cool. So let's see what else we can talk about. So one thing that we might want to do is we might want to change out of the directory that we're in. So we're currently in the user slash DJ at work folder. So I'm just going to pull up the folder now, uh, just so you can like actually visually see things side by side, right? So this is the folder that I'm, that I'm in on here. Okay. And to do that, I used a command called open dot. Okay. And open dot just means open the directory that you're currently in. So as you can see, here are the names and then here are the actual files. Okay. So let's see, like normally, and you'll find that once you get used to this, you'll find yourself being able to go through these commands really quickly. So uh, you see a development folder. Normally, you just double click to go in there. Okay. But let's do it from the command line. And we can do that using the command CD, which means change directory. So you CD into development. And what I can do is I could, if, if I only have one file that's within this directory that has uh that has something that starts with DEV, what I can do is I can actually just hit a tab and that'll auto complete it for me like that. And I hit enter and now I'm in the development folder. So if I double click here, this is what it looks like. You know, once again, we could hit LS 
and this will list all of the folders that are available to me. Okay, so now let's CD again into, let's see, processing, right? So I could hit, I could just spell out P-R-O and, uh, and then hit tab and it will auto-complete it for me. You could also go back into directory. So let's say I want to go, so now I'm in the processing folder and I want to go back a folder. What I could do is I could do CD dot dot and that will bring me back to the development folder and you can see what folder that you're in right here okay now let's see if i want to go i'm going to cd back into the processing folder and now let's say i want to go two folders back so i want to go back to the development folder then back to the home folder what i could do is i could do cd dot dot slash dot dot and that will bring me back to the home folder okay and then on the other side of the coin, what I could do is I could go back to the processing folder directly by doing CD and then DEV, hit tab, that's development. And I could go back into the processing folder and then hit enter. And that'll bring me back to the processing folder. Okay. You can also go. Uh, so now I'm in the processing folder, right? Now let's see if I can go back. So let's see if I can go back into the development folder and then into the JavaScript folder. So I'm here. So I want to go back and then I want to go into JavaScript. So what I could do is I can just use kind of a combination of these commands. So I can go CD dot dot. So that takes me back to the development folder. And then I could go Java and then hit tab that auto completes it. And now I'm in the JavaScript folder. Okay, so you can use a combination of this dot dot slash the folder name to go backwards and forwards into whatever directory you want to go into. Okay, uh, another useful command is um, mkdir, which is make directory. Okay, so I can make a directory in here. So let's see, I'll do mkdir, and then I'll call this audio programmer. Okay, and now what I've done is I've created a directory in the JavaScript folder called Audio Programmer. So see, there's there's the directory. I've just created that. Okay, and you can actually delete this using rm and then the file name. Now be careful with rm because you can actually delete stuff that you don't want to delete. But in this case, it's just a folder. So I could just RM audio programmer and oh, it, I think I, I think I'd have to do RM dash RF for a directory and then audio programmer. Yeah. And that removes the directory. So RM dash RF, uh, for directories, but RM for, uh, just files. So. But like I said, be careful with rm-rf because if you put in your like home folder or something that's very important, it will actually just really delete it for you and you won't be able to get it back. Okay, so let's create that again. So we could do make dear audio programmer. And it, see on the right there, it's created it for us again. Now we can cd into cd once again is change directory into audio programmer and now i'm in audio programmer and we have another command if we want to make a file we could it's called touch okay so if we want to like do a readme file for example i could just say touch readme.md and that creates a text file called readme okay so if i if i open the folder that i'm in and you can use that open doing open dot you can see that there's a folder in here called readme and you can actually open this as well so i could actually go open readme and it will actually open it up but uh i'm in another yeah there we go and that's our text file right so now let's see what else what else can we do we can do uh, so we've done touch, we've done make dear, uh, we could do 
a command called history, and that'll give us a history of all the commands that we've been running. So when I hit enter, you can see here's all the commands that I've been running. And then we could also do clear, and that will clear our workspace. And then finally, we could do uh, CD, and then if I do this little tilde, this will bring me back to the beginning again where I was in my user slash DJ at work folder. So one thing that I'll show you really quick as well is that you can actually move uh, or copy files to another folder. So at the moment we're in the home folder. So let's go back to the development folder. So if I want to know what, so let's, let's use this in combination, right? So I'll, let's say I want to know what folders I can go into. I can do LS to list directories uh, or list, list everything that's in there. And I can see that there's a folder called development and I can do CD, DEV, hit tab, and that will um, auto complete for me. So now I'm in the development folder. I want to do LS to list everything that's in the folder. And then let's say that I want to make a directory. I'll do that using the command make dir, M K D I R. And then I'll call this, I'll call this folder blah. All right. So let me, let me just open this, open this up so you can see it happening in real time. So you can op open up the directory that you're in using open dot. And now I've opened this up. Okay. And now let's make a directory so I could do MKDIR and I'll just call this blah. And you'll see that a folder just appeared there called blah. There's nothing in it. So let's CD into blah. Let's create a file called uh, foo. So I could do that using the touch command. So touch foo.md. And then if I, I'll show you here that there's a, a file there called foo.md. Now let's say that I wanted to move the foo file to this folder here, development. Okay, so we're in so we're in blah. We got this file called foo. We want to move it to development. So what we could do is we're currently in the blah folder. And I could do move with MV. So MV move foo.md and then I want to move it to the folder that's the parent folder of blah, which is this development folder. So I could just do that using dot dot. Okay. And I do that and you see that foo.md appeared, right? Now let's move it back. So let's go mv foo.md and then I want to, oh, see I was about to make a mistake here. I'm still in the blah folder. So I need to actually move back into the parent directory so I could do that using cd dot dot to move back into development. And now I can do mv foo.md and then I want to copy it into the blah folder and it's moved it back into the blah folder. Okay. I can also copy. So if I want to go, so I'll go back into the blah folder again, CD into blah. And then if I want to copy, I can use CP and that's copy and then foo.md. And then I could do, let's say I want to move it to my, uh, I want, let's say I want to move it to research. So I could do, uh, so research is going back from blah, back one folder from blah. So that would go back in the development and then into research. So I could go copy foo.md dot dot slash research. And then if I go, uh, if I go in here, we'll see that there's a file called foo.md. Okay, so those are some of the basic commands that we have for uh, for Bash in the command line. Uh, I went through some other ones in the last tutorial that I did for audio programming for beginners, which showed uh, Git basics. That's another thing that if you ever want to get a job in the industry, it's important to know how to use Git. Uh, and those are just the basics. So I don't, I don't really, I don't think I talked 
uh, much about switching branches or anything like that. But, uh, but maybe that's something we could do in the future. So that's where I'm going to end this video. And I hope that that's been helpful for you. And I will see you next time.